So if you were listening carefully on Friday morning, I told you you have a special treat to open up the plenary tonight. And that is, there is really nobody elected to office who ever stuck his neck out so far and did so much to transform the debate about the drug war and drug policy in America. And that is the former mayor of Baltimore, Kurt Schmoke. I, you know, I, I, I explained to you on Friday why we're renaming the Laden Award to the Kurt Schmoke Award, and, and you know, and it's going to be known from that, you know, henceforth. But I got to tell you, back in the late 80s, when I was teaching at Princeton and starting to write and speak, and then this elected official just stood up at a league, at a, uh, at a, at a conference of mayors, and as I told you, threw his notes away and said, "This drug war makes no sense." makes no sense. And he didn't just say it once, he continued saying it through 12 years in office. He joined the boards of this organization. Then he became the dean at Howard University Law School. He kept speaking out. He's now the president of the University of Baltimore. He is my friend. He is my ally. He has been an extraordinary leader for this movement and in this country. Kurt Schmo, Kurt, please come on up. Thank you. Thank you, Ethan. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. This is an overly generous uh, uh, introduction. I know that uh, I, I ask Ethan to simply say that I'm the only uh, elected official who read his article and then repeated it somewhere. <laughs> but I've been a disciple of Ethan Nadelman for uh, a long time, along with uh, uh, Deborah Small, who I wanted to stand up and <laughs> applaud. Uh, I, um, I really do uh, uh, want to thank each and every one of you for joining this outstanding uh, conference. It, it does my heart good to know that it continues to grow. Uh, I see people who are brothers and sisters from around the world who are engaged in uh, a wonderful, a wonderful uh, fight uh, to make some improvement, to bring sense and sensibility and justice to um, uh, this fight. You know, uh, for me, it, it seems like I was, I was talking to Cassandra and I told her that, uh, you know, I, I'm almost an historical figure now. Um, I've been around so long, but it was 1988 that I went to that conference that Ethan was, was talking about. And, uh, some, and it was a conference, a joint conference of uh, police officers and mayors from around uh, the country. And what uh, t uh, triggered a change in my mind, uh, I had been a prosecutor before being mayor, and a good friend of mine named Marty Ward uh, was uh, an officer who was working an undercover uh, police operation wearing a body wire, and he happened to be killed by the uh, person uh, who uh, he was there uh, to arrest. <clears throat> and it um, dawned on me at that time that at least in our community, we had more people who were hooked on drug money than hooked on drugs. And it, it seemed to me that we weren't going to make improvements in our community until we found a way to take the profit out of distributing uh, drugs at the street level. And that uh, led more and more thinking. And then fortunately, read uh, Ethan's uh, work and um, was able to uh, bring some sense to my inchoate ideas. I heard that uh, y you uh, listened to Dan Morheim, uh, uh, Delegate Dan Morheim uh, at the, the conference. Um, he is uh, continuing the battle uh, in our state. Uh, just recently at, uh, at Johns Hopkins, we had a, a conference and we looked at a, a number of, of, of issues, many of which you have uh, considered over the last uh, few days, uh, decriminalization, legalization, uh, medicated uh, assisted treatment, needle exchange and safe injection facilities, a sentencing and re-entry, and then treatment on demand. And the, the thing that was so interesting, and I'm sure you found in your conference, is that when we, we uh, identified examples of progress being made, we could see it in cities, in states, in countries, so it was just coming together and collaborating on an international basis that we're able to move this thing forward. This is not just a local problem 
or national problem. As we all know, this is an international problem. If we can solve it internationally, we will save a lot of lives and help uh, communities around the world. So I just uh, uh, came by to uh, say uh, uh, thank you. I, I appreciate uh, the uh, award being named for me, though I, I really begged Ethan to let me be hyphenated with Ladane, but uh, it, it just, it just didn't uh, work out uh, uh, that way. But um, keep uh, going and, and stay optimistic. I, I just remember that in uh, uh, just getting needle exchange back in the 80s in, in Baltimore, nobody said that we uh, could get it uh, done, and yet we persisted and we brought friends in. In fact, we brought friends in from Rotterdam who helped us out a, a great deal in uh, persuading our legislature. We're going to make progress. We're going to win on, on this, and it's, we're going to win not just because there's a narrow group of advocates. We're going to win because people will understand that this is all about justice. This is about fairness. This is about bringing science, uh, not politics, to the war on drugs and hopefully the best days of our countries are still ahead of us. Thank you all very much.